I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make a chick drawing. Let's get started. Let's get started drawing our chick. So the very first thing that we're going to do is draw a circle near the center of our page. We're going to draw another circle and then two more circles and you can can gently color around them to create an eye. Okay, next we're gonna draw the beak. So I'm gonna draw a line out. It's gonna come back in. And then I'm gonna draw a curved line just like that. Add a nostril. Next, we're gonna draw a second line that comes down from the tip of the beak and it's going to connect up. Okay. Now for the head, we're going to make this a fluffy little chick. They're so cute. And we're going to use some fluffy, fluffy zigzag lines around the eye. You're just going to add a thin parallel line or broken up version of one. And that will just give some texture. And you can also add some hatching lines around there as well. Okay. Now we're going to draw the body. So we're going to draw out that way with some zigzag lines and this way as well. And then make sure when you get to the bottom, they're a lot more fluffy looking. On either side, we're going to draw just some zigzag lines because chicks wings are really tiny and compressed. They don't really have their typical feathers yet. So they're just kind of tucked in just like that. And then you can go ahead and add some fluffy baby feather texture around the body. Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to now do the feet. Two parallel lines coming down from the body. Okay. Well, I guess it'd be two times. We're going to do that. So two legs, then you're going to draw the toes. Draw a little nail at the end by adding a curve line. And then you can add just some little dashed lines on the toes end up the foot and some curved lines on the leg for some texture. Actually, maybe I'm going to color those toes in. I mean the nails. There we go. Now we got a little baby chick. Okay. Because this chick is tiny, um, we need to make the grass around it look really big because it's so small. So big giant zigzag lines in the background. And then you could do some around it. And then you're ready to color. Oh yeah. Cool. Now we got a chick. Let's color in the chick and the grass. Taking my green crayon. Now, if you don't want to use a crayon, feel free to use whatever mark making medium you want to use. Color in your grass.
take a black pencil, sorry, black wax crayon, and you're just going to use it to add some shadows where the feet meet the grass. Next, I'm going to use a yellow pen felt marker and I'm going to color the body of my chick. Okay, so now that the chick is yellow, I'm going to take an orange, and I left a little bit of white around that eye just so it brings some contrast there. I'm gonna take my orange, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color in the beak as well as my feet. Okay, now that the feet are done, we need to make this look a little bit more interesting and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take our white pencil crayon and our black. Okay, take your white. Color the top of the beak. Okay, so it stands out and you're going to do the fronts of the legs. As well add a highlight to the top of the toes. Perfect. You can also add some white to the head, depending on your pencil crayon. It might be able to show up. It is on mine. So I'm gonna add some white to the wings, it's around the head and in the center of the belly. Perfect. Take your black. There it is. Good lord. Delete that. Okay, take your black. Shade the beak. Shade around the beak. bit of shading around the eye. Softly shade where the head meets the body. And where the wings meet the body. You can add a little bit of shadow along the bottom of the body. Then on the sides of the leg and between the toes. Okay, now your chick will pop off the page and my friends, it is now done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. 
see you next time.